So I was just watching an episode of Grey's Anatomy where um, the chief of surgery hires a new surgeon um, without consulting the person who's in charge of that surgeon's specialty. And the way that the surgeon that's newly hired justifies it to his new boss is to tell her a series of um, stories, short, quippy kinds of narratives um, about, like teaser narratives, about his life and his experience as a surgeon in various impressive locales. Um, this rhetorical choice says a lot about him as a character. He's a little bit cocky. He comes off a little bit um, too big for his britches, as my grandmother would say. But it's interesting to see how the choice of how we introduce ourselves and the kinds of things that we say to people to get them to think certain things about us um, reveals a lot about our personality. Um, and in the case of like in a fictional representation, we're supposed to make a lot of assumptions about the type of character that this person is. Um, just based on his choice of um, which pieces of his own narrative he actually divulges. So when thinking about the self and other and using rhetorics of self in everyday life, we do think about how, how to use the narratives that we have and that we have created in different contexts to get things. Um, to get jobs in job interviews this can often happen in any kind of like professionalized space we're gonna see a lot of examples of this kind of rhetorical work so I think it's important for you guys to maybe take some time to think about an example of a time when you had to be really careful about the rhetoric that you chose um, in order to achieve a specific goal. Talk about what that specific goal was, reflect on what rhetorical choices you made in that context, and write 250-ish words about that experience and any uh, insight that you might have from what we've discussed in class about rhetoric and narratives of self.